In this video, we're going to take a look at file references with SOLIDWORKS. If you've ever opened an assembly or a drawing and you're missing parts or other assemblies, this video is for you. We'll also look at how the file references go wrong, what mistakes are commonly made, as well as how to fix them. All right, so first thing we want to do before we start renaming or moving anything is open up the file and make sure that its references are good. If we don't get a dialog that pops up, we can go up to the file menu and click find references, and we can see all the references of this file and they seem to be fine. All right, so we'll go ahead and close this and we'll go back out to File Explorer. So the first thing that is the most common mistake that people make when breaking file references is moving files. So I'll just create a new folder here and I'll move the assembly that we've been looking at into that folder and then I'll open the drawing back up again. Now remember the file paths are hard coded into the file so now that that thing's missing it won't be able to find it. You could browse for it yourself or we could just let this thing time out and it will automatically come in suppressed. Now this is the most common because you might not even realize that you're doing it. You might move a file from one folder to another and done it on a mistake or a coworker might have done the same thing, just trying to reorganize. That just leads us into the second most common, just renaming the file inside of File Explorer. I'll go ahead and open it up again. We're gonna see the same behavior and we could go out and browse for it if we knew where it was or we could suppress the component or again, we could just wait and it will automatically suppress them. In this case, we could go up and we could browse and look at our find references and see what it's looking for for a file name, but it's not able to find it itself. All right, let's take a look at an easy way to fix this. So if you just use the R key and open up recent documents, you can click on references for the file you're looking at and then double click to open up the browse button. And you can just go browse for the file that you're looking for. If you know what it was named to, or if you know the place that it was moved to, you can easily select it and hit open. And then we'll just hit okay here. And then we just need to click on the file inside of the recent documents here to open it up. And it will open as if the reference was just fine. You need to make sure that you save the document, however, to actually establish that reference. And here we can see the new path, the new name. So one method we could use to rename without breaking references is SOLIDWORKS file utilities. From here, we can rename, we can move, uh, we could replace components, and we can tell it everywhere that it's being used to update its references, as well as look at any place where it's actually been used. And then all we have to do is open it up to see its references are, are fine. So that's all well and good. It's, it's great to understand the basics of file referencing, but what if we could do this without breaking any references or having to deal with any of these extra steps? Well, if you have the file inside a PDM, whether it's PDM Pro or PDM Standard, you can move or you can rename components without having to worry about it. So I'll go ahead and move and I'll rename this component at the same time. And then I'll go open up that same drawing that we've been looking at. I'm not planning on modifying it, so I'll just go ahead and not check it out. And you see, it'll open up just fine. You can find all of its references. And for a bonus here, if it's inside a PDM, I can easily go over to the right side of my screen to the add-in, and I can look at the history of the file. So if I just select the file and look at its history, I can see that it's been moved and I can see that it's been renamed. I hope you all learned something about file references with SOLIDWORKS, how you can easily remove and rename components. Uh, when to do it and when not to, and maybe why you might want to look at PDM. All right, have a great day.